to all of those young folks, everybody out there, get your phone out, record this one. This is the one you're going to send to those undecided friends. I don't know. I'm not just sure. I don't know. I, I, I really am thinking about that we need to give a tax break to billionaires. And uh, I keep thinking about this. They send people out. They send people out to bars in the swing states. Yeah, somebody's sitting at the bar in Pittsburgh tonight, and they're sitting around there saying, you know what we really need to do in this country? We need to ban George Orwell books. That's what we need to do. No, that's not what they're saying. They're saying we need to pay people a fair wage. We need to make sure that health care is accessible. We need to make sure we're tackling things like climate change. So here's what Kamala Harris is going to do. She is going to give a tax cut, but not to the billionaires, to the middle class. To the middle class. If you're looking to buy that home, she's going to make it more affordable to get in that home. And if you're getting squeezed by prescription drugs, you don't have to guess because she's already done it. We're going to tackle big pharma and reduce the cost of those drugs. And if you're going to start that small business, you're going to get help on the front end and cut the red tape to give you a chance to achieve the dream you want to achieve. And here's what I'm going to say. If you're in a union or if you're not in a union, we're going to make it easier to get in one of those and collectively bargain for better wages. And, amen. And if you're dependent on Social Security or Medicare covered by the Affordable Care Act, we're going to make sure it's safe and sound. We're not interested. We're not interested in cutting taxes for the wealthy and then raising the Social Security retirement age. We're not interested in cutting taxes for the wealthy and undermining Medicare. We're not interested in listening to them tell us, I got a good plan on day one. It'd be easy to fix Medicare. Oh, for God's sakes. It's not going to be, and you know it. All right. No matter who you are or where you live, Kamala Harris is there to make sure you make the decisions in your life that's right for your life, for the choices that you and your family make. This is, and I listen to this, that a big part of the presidency is, and, and being in this is who you're going to fight for. I did see this, that Donald Trump was, uh, was in Pennsylvania, was he not, last night? Harrisburg. Here's, there's a saying in politics, if you're explaining, you're losing, but I want to say this. I did watch part of it last night. Eleven times, eleven times, Donald Trump explained to us that he wasn't weird. Okay. Okay. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I think, I think we might be getting under the skin there a little bit. But look, when I said that, I, this isn't about name calling or anything. I was pointing out. It, it, it's weird to be obsessed with people's personal lives. It's weird to be obsessed with people's health care choices. It, it, it's weird to continue to talk about sharks and batteries and boats and things like that. What's not weird is tell us what you're going to do about health care. Tell us who's going to get a tax cut. Tell us that you're going to protect reproductive rights. Tell us how you're going to tackle uh, climate change. So look, Kamala Harris wakes up every morning thinking about those things, thinking about ways to make your life easier for hardworking people that are just trying to get by. Nobody's asking for a handout here. Nobody's asking to get by easy. Nobody's asking for the easy way out. But for so many of us, my family included, sometimes life throws things at you. So I'll guarantee you one thing. For my family, Social Security survivor benefits was a damn good thing to be there. I'm glad it was. For others, for others, it might be nutrition programs. Those are the things that give people a hand up. Donald Trump, J.D. Vance, I guarantee you they're not thinking about that every day. I guarantee you they're thinking about themselves. First thing they do, find the camera and then whine about how they're being treated. Look, that's, that's not how any of us live. That's not how any of us live. So I'll tell you. If, well, you know it. He wants this TV star we've got. This nine-year run of this TV show on the other side is so damn old. Let's turn the channel. Let's cancel the damn thing. Let's move on to something else. Look, Erie, you know what's out there. But here's the great part about it. And this is why we should, because it was paid for in blood. There are billions of people around the world could not imagine gathering as free people in a beautiful park to decide how we're going to go. They're going to decide the direction. You're going to decide which direction we're going to go. 
this divisiveness and this anger, we get to decide we're tired of it. I'm sick of it every day. You remember the... Remember when you used to actually go weeks or months without even talking about the damn president? That would happen. Because people were doing their job. People were getting things done. We were moving forward and tackling problems. That's a future we want to be. That's a new way forward. That's the way we get this done. So look. This is, this is an incredible privilege. Look, you had to come out here. It's hard work. You've got places to go. You're worrying about the kids. You're looking and saying, damn it, finish up. I got to go watch football. In honor of that, I get it. I get it. But this is our job to protect the democracy. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, when history writes about this time, every one of you is here, everyone who's been on the phone, everyone who's doing the work necessary, when we wake up and we've won this thing, you're going to be part of that to say, I made a difference. I made a 